Hey, what's going on guys? So uh, we've been getting a lot of emails and comments on where do we get the parts from this Camry and we, we got so many that we're just gonna make a video about it. We're gonna talk about how much the parts cost and where you could possibly find them. And there are some discontinued parts, but we could tell you uh, the best things that you could uh, do to get something that's similar to this. And before we start that, uh, we actually got some new things from Last Fit and I'm just gonna go into this trunk and they sent out this cargo organizer which is actually really really important for our car because in our trunk we have a subwoofer system this could actually be our solution and here let me show you this this is actually really cool there's actually two uh, like clips here and then boom and then it gives you this nice uh, organizer and there's actually some walls that you could use to put here and then you could separate a bunch of stuff. It's really, really cool. And they also have a lot more stuff on their website. They actually have uh, lights, they have floor liners, they even have some valence lights on the top. So go check out their website. They have a bunch of nice stuff that, that you could get for your car. And it's not just for Camry parts. This is for like all different cars. So just for an example here, we got some cleaning supplies. There's even a spot for water bottles. Uh, we have a basketball. We always go to the park and go there sometimes. And a pack of uh, microfiber towels for the cars. And the good thing about this is that there's so much space here that you can put whatever you want in here. And they also have a lot of dividers here. So, so you know that if there's something that's like you want to separate from other things then you would put dividers there and the good thing about it is that this is like transportable to move to other cars so if you have it on this car you can move it to the other one and it's like really really easy to move everything at once and if you have like a setup in the trunk like a subwoofer setup or even bags then you don't want to have these things just lying around and it might just like wonk into stuff and that's not going to be cool so this is going to be your nice organizer so go check out last fit's website and there's also going to be a link down below in the description and there's actually going to be a, a discount going on for black friday so stay tuned for that Okay, so we got the car backed up and now we're gonna show you the parts that we got on the Camry and let's see the prices. So first we're gonna be starting off with the interior because we usually never start off with the interior and we got actually a lot of parts for, for this. So starting off here is the steering wheel which is the most aftermarket thing inside of this in, uh, car. So this carbon fiber steering wheel like this actual carbon fiber steering wheel cost $450 and we got that from CZD Auto Parts. So the sky is the limit for making your own steering wheel. You could have a flat bottom like this or even a round one on the bottom. You can make the top flat. You can do whatever you want. You can even get some like grip grooves on the back of the steering wheel. And uh, there are some steering wheels that range through $1,000. There are some that range to around $300 so it depends on which one do you want and um, how much you can like put your money into it so we also have this carbon fiber shift knob and a lot of other manufacturers have it synth carbon has it I believe uh, custom tuning also has this and you could get anything you want on this one too this one also has a large variety of these shift knobs you could get one that has a red top or uh, a carbon fiber back or even the trim is carbon fiber. We actually like went through three different shift knobs. And also down here are the last fit floor mats that we have. So last fits discount code could go for everything. You could get their lights, like these valence lights. They're nice LED lights and they're very, very bright. And so we also have this wireless charging phone holder for your 
your phone and I'm gonna use one of my phones to um, set an example. This actually is the AC uh, version of their wireless charging phone holders and this will actually adjust its um, wireless charging height to wherever your your size of phone is. It could be an iPhone 11, it could be an iPhone 12 mini, it could be even the, the biggest one, the 12 Pro Max. Actually, the 13 is out. So, the 13 Pro Max. So, you could just put your phone here and it will actually adjust the height of the a wireless charging module and it will charge it for you. So that phone holder costs around $65 on their website and you could check it out. And also their floor liners are uh, in their website as well. So you could check that one out too. So starting off at the back, we actually have the Magnaflow cap back exhaust and they have quad tips and you can see even low, lower right here that there is two chambers and that's what's gonna make the sound of the exhaust a little bit deeper. And this is all bolt-on, no need to cut any piping or, or even like weld onto any uh, clamps and also the supports on the top. So our real carbon fiber spoiler was custom made, but you could get something similar to this for $300 to $600 depending on who makes it. And also we have a carbon fiber diffuser from the same manufacturer that was also custom made but you could get this for around $500. And then on the sides, we got some custom tuning aprons that are 60 to $80, and then under it are some carbon fiber um, spats. And then going to the sides, we got the Yo for side skirts that High Rev Sports and also Custom Tuning has. And depending on where you get them, it's around $200 to $300 painted and shipped. And then we got carbon fiber mirror caps that Synth Carbon has sponsored us for and that costs around $80 to $100. And for headlights, we just tinted the sides and it's not aftermarket. And we have fog lights that uh, we got from the beginning and we paid around $65 so it's LED lights and it's pretty bright. And the main part is the front custom tuning lip and we actually got that painted for around $250 and the actual lip was 180 and we also wrapped the top black and Roaring Thunder. So that's how you see, it looks kind of OEM as well. And below it is the S-Factor fabrication uh, splitter and you could get one for yourself for around $300 to $600 depending on if you want to put it on the sides as well and the back. And now on this the most recent thing that we got was the carbon fiber pillars for the sides and synth carbon is selling that on their website and it looks really really nice on the uh, sides in the sun anywhere and it adds that nice carbon look and those are on the pillars and also the small pillar and then also we have a real carbon gas door it's actually an overlay of an oem gas door and then they just put in like a weave on top. But this was actually from a seller that uh, we don't know where it came from, but we just saw it for sale. And, and you could probably have one custom made for around 200 to $300. And then now one of the biggest things that we have on the car are the wheels. And these are 20 inch uh, Vorsteiner VFF 107s. And we actually got a deal from one of our friends that uh, sold the wheels to us but if you want to get wheels similar to this uh, it's actually a custom color from Vorsteiner and it's a satin bronze and it costs around 500 a wheel plus tires so you have around 30,500 for the set and then moving on we got some window visors from custom tuning and this one actually has the black trim so it matches with the two-tone black and we even wrapped the top of our trunk black and you could do this yourself or you could get it wrapped by a professional but that one costs around $60 for the wrap on the top and that's about it and we also have um, emblems that our buddy are, are selling it's um, a metal emblem and that, that's what we have in our car a lot of people have been asking around where you get it from and we'll put that in the description below and our tail lights are also uh, not aftermarket, they're just tinted on the uh, reverse part. And then we're moving to the trunk now. 
We actually have a sound system in the back. We have two 12 inch subwoofers from Kicker and they are the Kicker Comp VRs. And uh, they're really, really nice. They hit really nice bass. And on the top, we actually have some kill mat. And there's two types of, of insulation. There's the Dynamat and there's kill mat. And the one that we got was a little bit cheaper than Dynamat, but it actually does the same exact thing. And we put that everywhere in the trunk. We put it on the top of the trunk. We put it on the bottom where the wheel is at and also on the sides so that there's minimal rattling. And then now we're just showing you the last fit organizer that we introduced in the beginning of the video. And we're actually going to put it in the front of the Tesla right here. And it's really, really easy. You just pick up whatever is inside of there. And luckily for our Tesla, we have a frunk and that's just like an empty part of the trunk in the front and we just put it in there and it fits perfectly which is kind of funny and you could put those in model threes and model y's and that's probably what we're going to be using with that and now back to the sound system and behind the seats we actually have the amps and the capacitor and our installer did an excellent job doing this and it actually made it really really nice and appealing with the v-shape and one amp is for the interior speakers and then the other amp is just for the subwoofers so if you want to get one for your car uh, might as well change the ones in the interior because the, the ones that were oem are kind of trash okay so for the engine we actually have the knn intake and that one costs around $300 and this Megan Racing uh, strap bar was around $100 so you could get those for your engine bay just to make it look a little bit more sassy this intake was actually really really loud though when we installed it and we just painted the engine cover red going to be the end of this video and we actually have something that might come up for this car we actually might have a project coming up and uh, that's going to be in a later video we're not going to announce it yet because it's not here yet and we don't want to have like an announcement on something that we haven't like fully fully gotten into yet because we're still thinking about it and yeah so we're going to be uh, uploading more videos we actually have something new for the tesla coming up uh, we got some carbon fiber uh, handles that we're going to be installing and stay tuned for that and we'll see you in the next video.